But protecting your drinking water and your wallets, that's the reason why North Myrtle Beach leaders made the decision just hours ago to turn down a settlement and some money in a nationwide class action lawsuit. Our Gabrielle Coriati was at today's council meeting. Gabrielle, what's that lawsuit about? Eric, the settlement is against companies like DuPont. They make foaming chemical products that's used in items ranging from nonstick cookware to firefighting foam. The suit says that uh, forever chemicals or PFAS from these products have seeped into the water. If we need to say uh, in the future, we'd be allowed to. Whereas if we sign with the settlement, it will um, prevent us from ever going back. In a less than five minute meeting, the North Myrtle Beach City Council unanimously decided not to join the settlement. We feel like it is premature at this point to participate in the class action litigation. Public Works Director Kevin Blayton says the suit is due to the Environmental Protection Agency looking to increase regulations of PFAS in drinking water. But he says the city doesn't produce a lot of drinking water. Instead, the concerns lie in the city's wastewater. Blayton says if the EPA expands forever chemical regulations into wastewater, it would be expensive for the city to treat. And if they accept the settlement now, they wouldn't be allowed to sue to cover that. We don't know the full extent of the regulations on how much that might cost the city to comply with those regulations. Blayton says 98% of their water comes from Grand Strand Water and Sewer Authority. The class action settlement, um, which is uh, nationwide, um, if it holds as it currently is presented, will not provide utilities with adequate capital funding or long-term operational funding to offset the expenses that water utilities are going to have to incur. Christy Everett is the CEO of Grand Strand Water and Sewer Authority. She says their board already decided they wouldn't be a part of the settlement. She says it'll be expensive to meet the expected EPA standards. Under the settlement, she says those costs won't be adequately paid by the companies that allegedly caused the pollution. Costs, of course, would be transferred to our ratepayers. The Myrtle Beach City Council will be meeting tomorrow to discuss a similar agenda item on whether or not they want to participate in the settlement. The deadline to opt in or out is in a couple of weeks. Live in North Myrtle Beach, Gabrielle Coriati, WMBF News.